Hello, welcome to Preform Line Products. I'm Miranda from PLP, and we have exciting developments to discuss regarding our growing insulator line. PLP began innovating superior formed wire products in 1947. We are truly an engineering company and have been engineering focused for 70 years. PLP's factory formed wire products are widely used in the power utility, telecommunications, and tower and antenna industries. And now, we are leveraging our extensive knowledge of the utility distribution system to develop new product offerings such as our polymer insulators. I'm here with Mark Burns, Market Manager for PLP's Energy Distribution Products. Good morning, Mark. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. Good. I'm excited to learn a little bit more about the polymer insulators that PLP has to offer. But first, what is a polymer insulator? Insulators are simple devices that keep the energized conductor away from the ground plane. They ensure that current generated at the source makes it to the point of use. Insulators are made from several different materials. Uh, porcelain is the most common. They can be made also from glass, fiberglass with silicon skirts on it, or polyethylene. Our polyethylene material is a proprietary blend that is not only strong, but environmentally durable. How do we use the polymer insulators? Well, the polymer insulators are compatible with all different types of conductor, whether it be bare or jacketed. They're ideally suited for jacketed conductor because the dielectric strength of the polymer material matches very closely to that of jacketed conductor. So therefore, you can use polymer insulators um, very well in tree wire systems as well as spacer cable systems. All right, you piqued my interest with these insulators. Given that PLP is an engineering company, how were these designs conceived? Insulators are defined by an ANSI specification. Um, that is the roadmap that is used to ensure that that device meets the requirements of that utility system. The ANSI specification provides a map for the electrical, dimensional, as well as the mechanical requirements of the system. So as long as you meet that, then it will meet the requirements of the distribution system. Our polymer insulators, in fact, exceed those requirements. They exceed the electrical, mechanical, and dimensional standards um, of, of the insulator as defined by ANSI specifications. In fact, they, they have many benefits that the porcelain designs don't have. What are the benefits of using polyethylene? Well, one of the main benefits is weight. Um, polyethylene is a much lighter material than porcelain. So therefore, the handling becomes much easier for the lineman to install them, as well as the inventory and shipping of those devices. Um, not only is it light, lighter weight, it has a much higher impact resistance than porcelain material. So they will fight droppage, and they will also be better in the in the issues of ballistic protection. The insulator can stay intact if shot with, with a gun. Um, it has a high mechanical strength, so we can meet those unbalanced loads as well as vertical pull-off requirements that the system has. Um, polyethylene has a low coefficient of friction. One of the, one of the things we, we at Preform have done for years is per, try to protect that conductor in that insulator. This is one more way by having a low coefficient of friction we can reduce or eliminate the abrasion damage. But this coefficient of friction adds another, another tr uh, mix to that uh, protection. And finally, uh, the material we use is very environmentally friendly and has a higher environmental integrity. There's obviously a variety of sizes and configurations offered, but what exactly does PLP offer? We offer three basic designs. We offer a standard distribution tie top that works very well with our foam wire ties. We offer a vice top insulator, and we offer a neutral spool insulator. Uh, the tie top and the vice top are mounted with standard mounting pins that you would use on any distribution cross arm. Uh, these pins come in one inch and one and three inch sizes, which are pretty much defined by your ANSI standards. The ANSI standards also define the voltage class in which you need to use for your, your system. So those ANSI um, C29.5 and C29.6 standards will define exactly the insulator model you, you required for your system. 
First, tell me about the tie top insulators. Can you break down the different electrical applications where these insulators would be used? Sure. First, insulators are typically defined by their neck diameter. So there's really three different designations that we're concerned about in the distribution primary market. We've got our C-neck design, which is two and a quarter inches in diameter. We have our F-neck design, which is two and seven eighths inches in diameter. And then we have the largest, which is the J-neck, which is a three and a half inch diameter neck. Um, when you look at the primary voltages, there's three basic primary voltages. On the lowest is the 15,000 volt level. And typically we're using a C or an F-neck insulator at, on that, at that level. Then you have your 25 kV level, and there you're going to use your F or your J-neck insulator. And then finally, you have a 35 kV level for, for primary distribution, and that would be typically an F or a J. Regardless of what voltage you're at um, or what neck size you have, these are all designed to be utilized with the preformed form wire ties as well as hand tie wire. You mentioned that PLP offers a vice top style insulator, but given the variety of tie top insulators and the fact that they can be used on all bare and covered conductors with a performance match tie, why would we offer a vice style insulator? Well, the vice top insulator is simply a, an alternate support mechanism. Uh, there's customers out there that demand different types of, of applications, and this is just an alternate. It utilizes a unique clamping mechanism that provides for a, a much greater range taking capability. So you can have one insulator that covers many more conductors and eliminate skews within your, your warehouse and, and the distributor's warehouse. They, they meet all the same electrical criteria as the tie tops for the different ANSI voltage classes. Um, however, the vice top tends to have a lower holding strength in unbalanced and unbalanced load holding capability as compared to a tie top with a, with a good form wire tie. Preform recently has developed a universal insert that can be used across all these different conductors to further eliminate the number of, of different insulators you need to keep in stock and cover all the applications voltage-wise as well as conductor-wise. I'm familiar with the insulation of a conductor on a tie top insulator while the system is energized, but how would you install a conductor on a vice top insulator using the hotline tools? We offer accessories for automating the installation of energized conductors or non-energized conductors into the vice top. We have a hook tool that you would use to screw in the torque bolts and that hook tool can be installed into any hydraulic or power tool to, to run that screw in. Um, we also have a vice top stringing tool that can be installed into the vice to eliminate the extra equipment that you're required to use to string conductor in in the first place. Um, it's, it's reusable, it can be installed and removed from the vice top utilizing standard hot stick tools. So therefore a, a lineman can work on the line whether it's energized or unenergized. Wow, it sounds like we offer a full line of insulators that meet most distribution primary applications. Yes, we do, but we didn't stop there. We now offer a polymer spool insulator that features a one and three quarter inch neck diameter. It conforms to the ANSI 53-2 specification. It uses the same UV stabilized and lightweight material that we use in all our polymer insulators, which makes it ideal for use with bare, jacketed, or copper conductors. You can use PLP factory form spool ties on them and they're suitable for use with any manufacturer's hardware that accepts the 53-2 porcelain spool insulator. Are all of these insulators currently available? Yes they are. All of our insulators are manufactured in the USA. This gives us the ability to react to customer requirements. These are readily available with very short lead times and can be purchased in carton quantities or pallet quantities. And like all the products we make, our polymer insulators are backed by the experience and field support that we've been noted for since 1947. Mark, I appreciate you taking some time with me today to go over the new line of polymer insulators. It was my pleasure.